I'm Liz from Caravan Guard Insurance. Solar panels are very popular on caravans and motorhomes. They're widely fitted on modern leisure vehicles and offer a great off-grid experience for anyone wanting to unplug or get away from the crowds. Off-grid camping or staying at a campsite with no hookup can be substantially cheaper than a standard pitch. So in this video, we'll find out more about solar panels, how they work and the benefits of using solar power. I'm joined by Andy Harris from Road Pro, who starts by giving a brief explanation of what solar power actually is. The way solar panels work on leisure vehicles is really quite simple. They convert energy coming from the sun in the form of light, which passes down a cable to a regulator, which then goes into the leisure battery. A solar power system is essentially a battery charger which uses the sun as the power source. So although there are different types of panel, there are basically two sorts that most people will be looking at if they're wanting to put one on their leisure vehicle. There's rigid panels like this one here and then the semi-flexible ones, which have several advantages. Uh, the main one being that, well, they're semi-flexible, so you can put them on a roof that isn't necessarily flat. And also they're much lighter than rigid panels, which makes them ideal for use on camper vans, for example, where you've got a pop-top roof, because lifting up a big panel like this on a pop-top is going to require a lot more effort than lifting up pop top with a flexible panel. A solar panel can work at anything between 12 and 100 volts or more. If you put a, a connector panel directly to a battery and it's working at 100 volts, the battery is going to be, to say the least, unhappy. Uh, you break it. So you have to go through a voltage regulator, which will transform that 100 volts down to a manageable, say 14 to 15 volts, depending on the battery. Good regulators can be set so that they charge at different voltages. There are two types of regulator, PWM, pulse width modulation, and MPPT, which stands for maximum power point tracking always go for an MPPT because you will get up to, they say, 30% more energy going into the battery than you would with a PWM regulator. PWM regulators are much cheaper, but it's worth the extra money to get that extra energy going into your battery. It depends on, firstly, whether you have enough space on your roof. It depends on whether you've got any restrictions in terms of weight. But essentially, I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle that we can't put any kind of panel on. The trouble is some panels are so small, so lacking in power, they might not actually be worth putting on. If you've got no space on the roof at all, then you could consider a portable solar panel. A lot of people do. And portable solar panels do have one advantage, which is that they can be aimed directly at the sun. And by doing that, you generate an awful lot more energy than you would if the panel was actually just flat on the floor. Well, panels are available in power ratings from say, even 20, 30, 40 watts. We don't have anything less than 65. We don't think it's worth it. And uh, your panel powers go up to three or even 400 watts. That's, this is a big, big panel and you'd have nothing else on the roof. So most people tend to have panels in the range of 100 to 200 watts. And we can fit those usually on most caravans, motorhomes and camper vans thing to remember is that panels will work all year round, but they'll work much, much better 
in the summer months than they will in the winter because of the position of the sun. Panels work best when the sun's directly above them, when the sun's perpendicular to the panel. Uh, and in the winter, when the sun's kind of at an angle like this, you might not get very, get very much coming out of the panel at all. With everything that you put in or on your caravan or by home, good insulation is critical. You do have to make a hole in the roof to get, at least to get the cable through. And you make holes in roofs, people start to worry, water ingress, so on and so forth. If it's not done right, you can again have real problems and come up against issues with uh, the warranty on the vehicle. So insulation, absolutely critical. And again, using the correct wires is important because when you're carrying a lot of watts, a lot of current and volts, you've got to make sure that the wiring is up to the job and capable of taking all the available power into the battery, not wasting it in heat and voltage drop. The great advantage of having a solar panel is ever so simple, it gives you free electricity. It will charge your battery, you don't have to pay anything. You've got a full battery, that enables you to go out into the wilds, have a great time and not worry about having to spend money on electrics. It's, uh, it gives you more freedom. Of course, while it's charging the battery, it's making sure that your security devices, alarm, tracker, are going to be fully operative. But again, I always say this, as long as the sun is shining. People often ask if they can use their solar panel when they're on a campsite on hookup. And the answer is absolutely yes. No harm will be done. The mains charging will probably put more into the battery than the panel, but the regulator it's going to be clever enough to know that the battery is being charged and it'll just sit by and watch. Solar panels will work in winter as well. They work all year round as long as there's sunshine. The problem with winter in this country, in northern latitudes, is that the sun is very low in the sky. And when it's low in the sky, most solar panels don't work very efficiently. So solar, solar panels only work when sunlight is shining directly on them and that light is not being obstructed, whether it's by clouds or trees or TV aerials or satellite domes Anything like that, anything that causes a shadow to fall on the panel will affect the performance. The reduction in performance can be so great that the panel can just be virtually useless. So when installing a solar panel, uh, you should make sure that it's not installed so that shadow's going to fall on it from, for example, as I said, a TV aerial. And when you park up, you should make sure that the panel's not going to be interfered with by, for example, a tree. Solar panels are dead easy to look after. You don't have to do anything except make sure that they're clean. So I strongly suggest getting up on the vehicle's roof every now and again and checking for the dirt that's been deposited by rain, leaf sap, bird poo, anything like that. Just wipe the panel down with damp cloth, use a bit of shampoo, a bit of washing up liquid, doesn't really matter. Um, and pay particular attention to the corners because that's where dirt can build up. Um, use a little brush, a nail brush, toothbrush, something like that, and get that dirt out of the corners because every little bit of cell that's prevented from getting the full rays of the sun is going to result in uh, a reduction in the amount of power that the panel can produce and put into your battery. If you have a cover on your caravan or motorhome, obviously the solar panel's not going to work. It is possible to get a plastic panel put in where the solar panel is, which will allow light to come through so that the panel can charge the battery even in the winter months 
little bit, as I say. Uh, the problem is that a clear panel like that can suffer from condensation. So you have to be prepared if you go and check the panel, which you should do, you have to be prepared to actually get in and clean the condensation off and clean any dirt off the top. Just make sure that that window in the cover is not preventing the panel from charging. And finally, what I suggest you do is check that the panel and the regulator are working correctly. If the van is not connected to the mains, then this is a simple thing to do. Just keep an eye on the display panel in your van and see during the summer months when the sun's out that the battery is near or at full capacity. So there's a quick overview of solar panels and their benefits. If you'd like more information about having a solar panel installed onto your caravan or motorhome or even your camper van, contact your local dealer, speak to the experts such as those at RoadPro or click onto the Approve Workshop scheme to find a local engineer. Don't forget solar panels are also great for keeping your leisure battery charged when not in use and in doing so it helps to keep any electronic security devices such as an alarm or a tracker or any device listed on your insurance policy active too. For more hints and tips why not head on over to the Caravan Guard website. Thanks for watching.